there. So today I have a very fun video planned for you. So a few weeks ago I sat at this very desk and I was copying and recreating some of those really ridiculous art hacks that you see on YouTube, Instagram, those ones that you just look at and you just think, why? And I asked in that video, hey, if this video gets 5,000 thumbs up, I will do a video of glue gun hacks. And I got that many. So I am going to be doing that today. And uh, I did go and buy some extra hot glue gun refills because I'm guessing I'm going to need a lot of these. And my chair is spinning. Why is it spinning? So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be looking for the absolute worst hot glue gun hacks that I can find on the internet and going to be recreating them. So this should be fun. Going to plug this in. Excellent. Oh, it's one over here. So while this heats up, let's see what we can find on the good old internet. Okay, so this first hack that we're going to copy is an eraser. Uh, they basically have like the end of a pencil, sticking hot glue on the end of the pencil, letting it dry, and apparently you can use it like an eraser. Uh, I personally don't believe this for a second, but we're going to try it and see if it works because I might be pleasantly surprised. We don't know yet. Okay, I have a mechanical pencil here and it has an eraser, but we're going to forget that it's got an eraser. We're just going to pull that out. So we are just going to stick the hot glue dramatically on top of the pencil. So that's what that looks like. It looks absolutely beautiful. And we're going to sit and wait for this to dry now. It's actually, it's actually collapsing. It's actually collapsing. So we probably should stick some more on it. Beautiful. Look at that. That is a stunning eraser. This hack is dumb. Now we're going to try erasing. Has it dried? No, it's still, it's still soggy. I'm still waiting for it to dry. It's still not dried. Okay, so our eraser is now dry and we are going to use it to see if it works. Are you ready? I'm actually impressed it actually worked. I mean, it's clearly not the best eraser in the world, but you can see that it actually did work. So if you are, for some reason, without an eraser but you have tons of glue sticks, you can definitely use it as an eraser, so five out of five for that one okay so this one we use our hot glue gun to make a couple of dog turds stick it to the lid of a jar stick a key in the jar use a wooden spoon to dig instead of a trowel because that makes sense and then we hide a key in the ground because no one wants to touch the hot glue dog turds so i've got a bit of foil here as you can see laid out nicely we're gonna just create some dog turds I don't really I've never done this before strangely enough so uh wish me luck I'm gonna run out of hot glue at this rate I think I'm gonna do just one dog turd instead of the two because it seems a waste of resources to me so we've got to give it a, give it a nice little texture just like some nice texture I didn't have any wax paper so fingers crossed it comes off of the foil uh, I'm, I'm having trouble getting the sort of the 3D effect so fingers crossed it looks okay when it's done. Now in theory this is actually a good clever idea um, but if you've got a gardener or like a good neighbour that goes around doing you know good deeds for you he's gonna see the dog poo in your garden pick it up and then oh found the location of your key now i know how to get into your house at night and steal your television so that's how it looks I'm gonna poke it a bit give it a bit of texture okay so that is what that looks like we're now going to give it a nice little brown um paint like that and i'm actually quite concerned as to how much this looks like a trodden on poo to be honest, it actually looks like a bit of chocolate more than anything else. And I can't I can't start digging into the ground with a wooden spoon. So what I'm gonna do is let this dry, throw it at my brother, and see if he reacts to it. Guess what I found in the garden? What? Bit of shite. Yeah. Okay, do you want it? Do you want it? You get that. Catch. <laughs> in theory, he kind of fell for it, but he fell for it before he even saw it. So I think I'd give this like a 
a three out of five because it's really, especially if it's still on your hands, the paint, it, no. So this one looks ridiculous. Uh, basically they've got a balloon, they're covering it with wax paper and they're literally making a hat. Like why they're making a hat, I don't know, but we're gonna try this, but I don't have any wax paper. I have foil. <laughs> Is it the size of my head? Hopefully, that's, that'll do. Ah. That's the balloon. I've done a lot of stupid things on my channel, but this is probably one of the stupidest, and I can't even see what I'm actually doing. In terms, of, I don't know what's connected and what isn't. I've got like probably a third of a hat right now. I would say, you know, hey, if you want something kind of stylish, not really, you could do this and save a bit of money. But honestly, the amount of glue sticks that I've used on this one hat is not cheaper than buying a hat. Maybe I could say this is a Gucci hat because they sell the ugliest stuff I have ever seen in my life. Have you seen this? The, what, I mean, what? what is that? What is that? Okay, we're gonna see what our half a hat looks like. Okay, actually, let's pop our balloon first. Uh, I don't think this is going to actually come off the foil. It's probably a reason why they used the, the wax paper. Okay, okay. so here's our hat. As you can see, it looks wonderful. Uh, very Gucci, very... My camera can't even focus on me. It looks so terrible. What do you think? Do you like it? It's got a nice uh, um, 31st century vibe going on to it, doesn't it? It looks rather, rather dashing. Okay, so this one requires you to have a map of your hand to create some sort of glove. Um, okay, it's a glove, a caged glove, a caged glove, two caged gloves for your hat. What's the point? What's the point? We'll try it with paper, I think, because it doesn't like being attached to foil. So if we just go all the way on the outline of my hand, I'm going to create a lovely cage. I love how it looks like I've got like a massive thumb. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I bought more hot glue for this. I'm gonna need bloody wrist supports just making this glove. I've got like the child size version of a hot glue gun. They've got like the adult size one. Okay, I've done one hand. One hand is dirt. Oh shoot. They obviously used wax paper for a reason, didn't they? If I'd have known I actually needed wax paper, I would have bought wax paper. Maybe I'll try, okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do a finger cage instead of a hand cage, and I'm gonna do it on a bit of this instead, because I'm hoping that will work. See, this is much, much better. It's no, it's no worse an idea than the hand cage. This just goes quicker. Okay, we'll leave that, and then we need, like, a big line. Kinda like that. Okay, let's check if this comes off. No, this just pulls up the cardboard. Okay, we've got that. Oh, unless you have wax paper, don't even bother. There we go. That's what that looks like. Magnificent. Uh, before anyone criticizes me and says, no, you don't have the right material, so you can't, you can't judge it. Let's be real. Who would actually make that, to be fair? Like, who would actually spend the time to make that, whether they had wax paper or not? Okay, so don't even, don't even criticize me. We have a phone case. There. Okay, so it's nice and tightly against my phone. Now we are going to just make a phone case. This works. And you know what else? I'm going to leave a little bit of gap so I can still use my volume keys. It better come off this bloody Ziploc bag, I tell you that. This is going to be the ugliest phone case I have ever had in my life. Oh, this glue gun sucks. Once I'm done with this, I never want to see another glue gun again. Like, I am so not even joking. Don't want any speakers to work, so we're going to cover up the holes on that. There's our beautiful phone case. I didn't give it too, too much of a design because I didn't want to, like, show off or anything. Um, but, oh, that's still damp. That's not good. And... <laughs> it's stuck to the Ziploc bag. It's stuck to the Ziploc bag. Wow! Wow, it's it's phone case. Look at that. Oh, if I drop it, oh, and it stayed on. It, I mean, it stayed on. So I genuinely think they're just they're lying and they put like palm oil on it or something because it doesn't work. Okay, one last thing. We are gonna make a hair tie. Um, and I think this will work because 
they have used a pencil I don't think it's gonna stick to a pencil so let's try it so basically they're saying you can make a hair tie out of hot glue and I call rubbish on this because I don't think that any hair tie made of glue gun glue is gonna actually hold any of my hair so we're gonna try it I could be pleasantly surprised and it's globby but there we go that's what that looks like I've put that glue on there okay so what I don't like is that they like untwist it as if it's just gonna come straight off but it's not gonna do that it's not gonna do that it's not gonna do that see that's rubbish it doesn't just slide off did you see how it just slid off like that this doesn't do that. You have to physically unpeel it. Yeah, that's going to do a lot, isn't it? That's going to hold a lot of stuff in my hair. And if we just get a bit of hot glue to close that, like that. There we go. That's going to hold for sure. Okay, so here is our hair tie. I'm going to try and put this in my hair now to see if it works. Yeah, that worked. That worked well. So, thank you so incredibly much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, even though pretty much all of it was a fail. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this. I highly recommend that you don't try this yourself, um, unless maybe I've done all of this wrong, and I'm sure people will tell me in the comments if I did. But it doesn't work. Like, it didn't come off the plastic. It didn't come off, I mean, I kind of said not coming off the paper, but it didn't come off the plastic, because it kind of melted to the plastic. How did it not slide off the pencil? It just doesn't work that way. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see me do more videos like this, or if you have ideas, maybe, for things similar to this that I can try out next time. And yes, thank you so incredibly much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.